Now, Shooting USA is sighting in on rifle enhancements and accuracy with John Paul of JP Enterprises, always seeking excellence. Well, today is an exciting day because my JP Enterprises LRP 07 is here and John Paul is here to help me put it together. The LRP 07 is a large format semi-automatic precision rifle chassis system and this one is going to be chambered in one of my favorites, 6.5 Creedmoor. I spec'd out on the JP Enterprises rifle builder everything I wanted on this gun. So it already has the fire control trigger group installed in the lower. From there, we're gonna assemble the rest of it. But before we do that, John, we are in support of the rifle builder at home, no matter what he wants to put together. That's right, we're really about maximum flexibility and allowing people to uh, option this thing out, use whatever parts they have out of their own little library. Most commonly, somebody might have a sweetheart barrel from some manufacturer that they're just hooked on using, and therefore you can do that by ordering a semi-automatic chassis system as opposed to a complete rifle from us. Mm -hmm. So you've gone all out here, you've got everything installed in the lower, plus you've got this great American flag Cerakote That's job, neat, look. and that is beautiful. That's amazing. And not only do we offer semi-automatic chassis systems, but uh, there's bolt gun people out there. We love bolt guns and we offer a state-of-the-art bolt gun chassis system for the typical 700 clone type action. And this one is fully ambidextrous so that you can set up with either a right or left-handed action. Really a state-of-the-art build. Let me just uh, set that over here where you might forget about it. And you just might and get lucky. <laughs> So we're going to get started putting together the LRP-07, and I think the goal today is to get the lower. So where will we start? Sure, we're going to get the, the back half of this thing going in this section, and we've got a, a fully adjustable buttstock we're going to use. We've got the most race guns set up in the operating system here. We've got our BC-8 here, which is a 7075 variable mass carrier, and we've got the SCS. All that's going to come together here to, to make this the ultimate uh, precision rifle for you. Well, before we put this all together, I want to talk about one more detail. And you know we're always about the details. Sure. And one of the details we're dealing with here is the fitment of the upper and lower. And I've found over the years that my personal rifles shoot best with a certain type of fitment that obviously has no play, cannot have any play. Just like if you had a bolt gun loose in the stock, we know that wouldn't shoot. Well, the upper assembly has to be very, very solid and secure with no play in the lower. Mm -hmm. But it can actually be too tight. So we've come up with what we call microfit pins, and we select the pins that give the optimal fitment between our upper and lowers that I'm looking for. Basically a mallet-free kind of a fit that has absolutely no play between the upper and the lower. That's amazing. So let's get started on the rest of this. To get us started, I'll go ahead and separate the upper and lower receiver. Those microfit pins, you're going to need something sturdy at first to get those, get those apart. Now, the buffer tube is gonna thread in, but before I do that, a little dab of red Loctite. So I've got the buffer tube installed. Next is the safety detent and spring, followed by the pistol grip. Snug that up with the supplied screw. Drop in the spacer and the JP silent captured spring system. And finally, the buttstock slips into place. We secure it with the supplied hardware. Well, it should come as no surprise, but that went together beautifully. Well, it sure did. Let's finish it up here, and I'll put our variable mass carrier in the upper. We're going to pin this together. You know, John, as you're doing that, I'm noticing there's no traditional charge handle on this rifle design. Why'd we do that? Now, you see we got a... Uh a non-reciprocating uh, side charger. Did that for several reasons. This gives you more leverage, uh, plus you can uh, charge and clear the rifle without ever relinquishing your, your cheek weld on here. In fact, you could even operate this as a, a very fast straight pull manual rifle with non-cycling uh, subsonic ammo if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Speaking of suppressors, the fact that we got rid of the, side, the top charge on here uh, allowed us to have a very sealed up receiver system so you have no blow by, no gas coming in your face on a suppressed rifle application. Well, that gets us to a good point. The next time you see this rifle, we'll handle the business end. It'll be the barrel and then we'll shoot it. Let's do it. 